Britain, you disgust me. I've never been more ashamed to be British. And if it weren't for family ties here, I'd have probably left a long while ago. I don't know if you've been seeing what's unfolding with the Met Police, but, you know, our capital city, London, and the Met Police now exposed to be institutionally at the core racist, sexist, um, allowing most rapes to go um, untried and uncharged, sexual harassment everywhere. It's an utter disgrace. Crime in London now, it's just ridiculous. I, I would not live in London. I would not want my kids to be raised in London. Then we have the completely corrupt political system uh, and the current government in record levels of national debt. Right now, there's a, a sort of a, a trial and grilling of our ex-prime minister who puts his hand on the Bible and makes and swears. And we just know he will lie. Trying to justify why it was OK to lock the entire nation down, but then break their own rules. Taxes. Taxes are disgracefully high. I worked out I pay more than 70% in tax in what I sell, what I earn and what I spend. It's utterly ridiculous. And because of the national debt and the bloated political system and all these careerist politicians, you know, who care about being something rather than doing something, this is only going to get worse. Right now, we have interest rates going up and up and up while inflation is really high. And normally you have low inflation if interest rates are high and vice versa. If you've got higher inflation, you might have low interest rates. Um, and it's completely the opposite now. Complete. Well, in fact, it's not the opposite. If it were, it'd be great. What it is, is we've got high and increasing interest rates. So therefore, high cost of lending, high cost of housing, high cost of borrowing, and then you've got really high inflation, which means you've got high prices. And um, the since the Second World War, has it never been the worst standard of living in terms of pound for pound, your cost of living? It is the lowest standard since the Second World War. And th this has mostly happened since Brexit. Brexit was an absolute disaster. We turned our back on Europe completely. And who are we to turn our back on Europe? The banking system. The banking system's a complete and utter scam. They make you believe all oh, pension, retirement, your future, saving for your nest egg, for your future, for your children. No, 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 they don't care about you. They just want your money so they can trade insolvently, so they can lend and invest it out and earn on your money without paying you fair return. So when inflation is 10.4%, like it is now, it's probably more like 15% or more. Um, and then even with interest rates raising to four and five percent, they won't give you all of that. You're going to be net 10 percent a year down when inflation wipes out your interest. And you, they say your money is insured. But is it really? Um, and they'll lend and invest out and they'll take all the risk on your money. They'll get all the reward and you take all the risk. And I mean, I haven't even started talking about central digital currencies, 15 minute cities, own nothing, be happy. I mean, this is unbelievable. Unbelie and the NHS, the NHS, apparently it's a, a global institution, the pride of the world, the NHS, free healthcare. Well, if you actually could get your healthcare, then maybe it would. And do you know now the top three um Sources of revenue. So when you pay your tax, here are the top three places it goes. Number one, unknown. Yeah, probably paying the government and the politicians. Number two, NHS. Completely broken system. It's like a, bu a bucket with a massive hole in it and you're just pouring more water into it. Very difficult to get into the NHS. Seriously underpaid workers. Broken, flawed system. Needs a complete revolution. And then the third highest source of tax revenue that you pay for is Interest. So you are paying interest on government debt. So unknown, NHS, interest on government debt. 
and government debt is as the highest it's ever been, which means the interest is the highest that it's ever been, which means nothing is going to change. Um, you know, I can't even say, believe I'm saying this, but I might actually have to vote Labour. And are they going to do any better? I don't know. Can they do any better? Well, they're going to just um, inherit an absolutely broken system. Um, many of you are saying here you agree or um, that, you know, we're all finally waking up or that more problems are on the way. I think we've got a huge recession coming. I think we've got a huge property price correction coming, which the property price correction is needed because affordability of housing is ridiculous and outrageous and unsustainable. And I am honestly ashamed to be British. And uh, the only thing keeping me here is my family roots. I'd love to know your thoughts, by the way. Um, what do you think about the Met scandal, the institutional racism and rape and sexual harassment and goodness knows what? The NHS, do you think that that is a broken system unfit for purpose, even though it's the second highest expense of our tax money? Strikes, I haven't even mentioned all the strikes. The strikes everywhere, rail, mail, you name it, they are going on strike. You can't fucking do anything. You can't go anywhere. Anna said, calm down, Rob, you'll have a heart attack. I'm not going to calm down. This is just like our country has been running into the ground. Brexit, lockdown, COVID, like political scandal after political scandal. It is ridiculous. So the first thing I believe that you should do is you should share this video. We need to stand up and speak out. We need a total reform of the way our country is run. The political system needs to change. The healthcare system needs to change. The banking system needs to change. The type of people who lead our country need to change. They need to change. And nothing will change unless we all step up. Uh, and be the change we want to see in the world. And sometimes I think, well, what's the point of me doing these videos and just ranting away? No one's going to listen. It's not going to make any difference. But um, if we all stand up and speak out, you know, maybe go to some rallies, uh, you, you know, and peacefully protest, you know, vote with your feet. Be very mindful of who you vote for and where you're spending your money. I always recommend that you don't leave too much money in the banks. Don't support a, I was going to say a corrupt system. I, I can't say the banking system is fully corrupt because, you know, it does offer opportunities and you can borrow money and, um, you know, it does create an economy. But it's just so weighted towards the profit of the central banks under the guise that it's supporting you and your future, which it isn't. Uh, so um, be the change you want to see in the world. Vote with your feet. Actually, be mindful of where you spend your money. Don't spend your money with massive corporations. Spend your money with individuals and entrepreneurs and startups. Um, support small business because the government do not support small business. Small businesses are the bedrock and the backbone of this nation and the economy, and they're just getting completely overlooked. Why is it that the massive billion, multi-billion trillion dollar corps, why is it they can pay 3% tax, yet... Uh, a small business owner needs to pay 25% tax. So a big corp, 3% corp tax. A normal business, 25% corp tax. Of course, you've got the VAT, you've got the income tax, you've got the national insurance, you've got the business rates. All of this, it just seems so wrong. And as you know, I've been saying this many times over, you must take full responsibility yourself. You know, I'll have this little rant and then I'll crack on and, and work on my own life my clients' lives, my community's lives, my family and friends' lives. I'm not going to spend any more of this day bitching, moaning or being concerned about the government, the politics, the NHS, the Met, the taxes, <laughs> the government, the banks. Have the quick rant. Turn that energy into productivity. So start your own business. Get yourself a side hustle. Build up multiple streams of income. Invest in assets that you control. Do not have any of your money in things like government bonds. Um, they're supposed to be safe. That's why they're crap returns, but they're not safe anymore. Keep minimum amount of your money in the banks. Um, you know, maybe um, invest in decentralized assets, assets that you know you can own and control. Own your own property. Anyway, look, um, this is why I not only have Rob.team, my digital financial freedom platform, but it's also why I dramatically dropped the price down just to less than 20 pence a day when lockdown happened. So lockdown came along and I was giving a lot of content and 
Um, you know, people were worried and scared and didn't know what to do. And so Rob.team, which was, I think it was 30 odd pounds a month there for the content. I just put it down to 20 pence a day. You can cancel any time, no ongoing contract. And I've not put the price up since. So for less than a large cup of coffee a day, you can learn how to make, manage and multiply money, build multiple streams of recurring income, invest in assets, start a side hustle. You can be part-time, full-time or big time, be completely decentralized and financially free and independent of the systems as much as one can. I still use banks. I still rely on the system and the system has some upsides, but they're getting less and less and less. How to get your tax bill down, how to get your earning power and income streams up. And you can learn how to do all of this for less than 20 pence a day, cancel any time, no ongoing contract. And all you have to do is join Rob.team. It's really easy. And there's 10,000 members waiting to partner and collaborate and support you. So here's how you join. You just open up a new web page and you type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Go do it now. Just type R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. You can join anywhere in the world. It's instantly accessible. There's hundreds of hours of content, resources, courses, masterclasses, masterminds, a network, you name it. It's been going for many years and it will be going for many decades to come. And really what it's about is making, managing and multiplying money, starting and scaling a business, becoming decentralized, independent and free of the system. Financially free in the sense that you've got recurring income from assets, but also financially free in that you're not reliant on the banks, the governments, the taxation uh, and, and the system that controls you. So go and join now. Just type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. No risk to you. You can cancel any time. No ongoing contract. And like I said, there's hundreds of hours of courses, resources and masterclasses, mostly around making, managing and multiplying money, being an entrepreneur. Um, Svetislav said lockdown was the biggest economic suicide. Completely agree. Same as Brexit. Completely agree. Um, I'm ashamed to be British. Britain disgusts me right now. It's corrupt to the core. It's bent inside and out. Look at the Met and the racism and the institutional sexism and all these rape. Apparently 2% of um, rape Cases actually end up going to court. That is disgusting and disgraceful and shameful. The NHS is unfit for purpose. The lockdown made it 10 times as bad. Everywhere is on strike. The government couldn't organise a piss up in a brewery. Taxes are disgracefully high and they're going to go more. Our quality of life is the lowest it's been since the Second World War. Some people believe that World War Three has already begun. The government are in record amounts of debt. I think that the how bent the politicians are seems to be... Uh, at fever pitch. I think we've got clowns running our country and our banking system is a complete scam. And it, it, it's sad to say it all, but I'm afraid it's true. So let me know what you think. Are you British? Are you ashamed of Britain? If you're not British, what's your view of Britain from the outside in? Please share this because we all have to stand up and speak out. You know, here's a few things. People say, well, that's all fine saying all that, Rob. Well, what about some solutions? Well, number one, we need people running the economy and country who've got experience running an economy. And the best type of economy is a business because our economy isn't a real economy um, in that they can trade insolvently, legally, knowingly and just run the economy into the ground with no consequence. Whereas if you do that with a business and you trade insolvently, you can be struck off as a director. You can even go to prison or your company can go bust. So you can't run it into the, the ground. You have to balance the books. You have to have a positive balance sheet. You have to have a net profit, not a net loss. So what we need is entrepreneurs and business owners with decades of experience of running real economies, which are businesses, and they need to be centrally in control of governments and economies. We need a complete reform of the banking and monetary system. We need a complete reform of the NHS. We need a complete reform of the political system. Because, you know, you and I didn't vote for the last two um, prime ministers. We didn't even vote for them. We, there was no vote for Rishi. There was no vote for Liz Truss. We didn't vote for them. It's completely wrong that people are running our country and none of us vote for them. It's just basically a, a, a public school kibbutz. It's ridiculous. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the share button and speak up. I'll see you in the chat. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in rob.team if you want better financial education and knowledge. Um, no risk to you because you can cancel any time. No ongoing contract. It's less than 20 pence a day. And there's hundreds of hours of courses, resources and masterclasses on making, managing and multiplying your money. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.